the Water Resource Management Agency, WRMA, concluded a week-long intensive activity focused on characterizing groundwater resources utilizing isotope hydrology techniques. The initiative marks a milestone in the agency's commitment to enhancing water resource management capabilities and forms an integral part of its collaboration with the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, under the national project Strengthening Capacity in the Use of Nuclear Technologies. Isotope hydrology involves the measurement of radon gas to precisely gauge the quantity of water traversing through a system. Experts attached to the IAEA, Michael Schubert, explains that the activities under this project comprised a series of field surveys, laboratory analyses, and technical workshops where officers were trained in the application of isotope hydrology techniques, equipping them with the skills necessary to continue monitoring and assessing groundwater resources effectively. Generally, we have to distinguish between two major water bodies, surface water, like lakes and rivers, and groundwater and we have to understand that the two water bodies are interconnected and uh, if we've got for instance groundwater contamination due to uh, activities industrial activities or agricultural activities it's likely or it's possible that groundwater discharges into a river or into a lake contaminating the river water or the lake water as well. And uh, because you cannot see where groundwater is discharging into a surface water body, we need to use tracers, as we call it. And tracers are actually components of the groundwater, which are typical for the groundwater. And if we find them in the surface water, we know there is groundwater discharging in the surface water. Director of the Water Resource Management Agency, Jason Ernest, says that by employing this advanced technique, the WRMA, aims to gain insights into groundwater dynamics, facilitating informed decision-making and sustainable management practices. Well, as an agency, uh, we're responsible for managing the water resources um, of the island. So um, part of that entails characterizing the different sources of water, so less, um, surface water, rainwater, coastal waters, and also groundwater but groundwater is uh, little known and that is where the agency is focusing its effort in trying to quantify our groundwater resources. So we're um, employing different techniques uh, to assist us in, in, in that respect and isotope hydrology looks like a very um, uh, feasible method that uh, the agency can easily engage with. So that's why this week we have um, uh, these activities um, that are ongoing and we have um, experts from a German institute representing the International Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, to assist us in, in that regard. The Water Resource Management Agency remains committed to further in its efforts in enhancing water resource management capabilities, fostering collaboration to address the evolving challenges of water sustainability. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.